so it is currently August 29th. It's just about to be 4 a.m. and we're on our way to Galaxy's Edge. Grant's right. excited. So the, he, if you guys don't know, he's a huge Star Wars nerd. Not just like the movies, but like the books and the whole nine yards. So like the whole universe, not just the movies or whatever. Um, but so yeah, we're on our way there. A lot of people have already gone because of either cast member previews or um, annual pass previews, but we didn't get the chance to go to either of those. So this will be our first time seeing the land today. We are so nervous. We don't know what to expect in terms of crowds. Um, we were here for openings of Pandora and of Toy Story Land. We didn't go technically opening day of Pandora, even though we were on property. My sister and her now husband did, but we didn't. And then um, we went for opening day is Toy Story Land. Um, we assume it's gonna be bigger than Toy Story Land, but we also still don't know what to expect because so many people did go to the previews. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, the park technically doesn't open till six, but um, we know when we went to Toy Story Land, the park was supposed to open at eight, and we got there at 6 a.m., and then they opened the park at 6.30. I mean, we're not completely sure. We don't know if it's really likely that they're gonna open even earlier since they're already opening at six, but you never know and we would rather be there early and if they open, open, and if not, we're already there and in, in line and whatever. Um, but we do know that they're gonna be doing virtual queues once the land's at capacity. So we'll be doing that on the My Disney Experience app if we don't get in that um, initial opening. But other than that, pretty much winging it. Um, I also hope that today, um, like, com like from what other I've seen other people seeing, a lot of people are just going to Food and Wine Festival today. They're not even gonna be there this morning, and I think that that helps that it's like a Thursday, so people have to work for the most part, like locally. Um, so yeah, but I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect, but try to film as much as I can remember to. Um, I mean, last time, like, what I'm expecting is obviously a line, but I mean, for Toy Story Land, it wasn't necessarily a line before the park opened. It was more just like mosh pit. <laughs> like, um, they had, if you're familiar with Hollywood Studios, they had from where you scan your magic bands all the way back to the ticket booths. That was all just people. So there really wasn't that many people there waiting. Um, but again, we only ended up waiting outside for like a half an hour and people have gotten um, there for Toy Story at like 1 a.m. I can only imagine what time people got there for this, for Star Wars Land, just because people are so much more into Star Wars than Toy Story. Um, like there's such a big fandom behind it. So I guess we'll see how it goes. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm real nervous. So we'll see how it goes. at Hollywood Studios around, we got through security around 4.15, 4.13. We waited in front of like the main area right inside the gate of the uh, park until about 4.25, 4.30 and then we were by um, Baseline Tap House until now. And that, that was only another like 15 or 20 minutes, right? Yeah, it's before it's five, it's not even five. And the park, doesn't open until six, so. And we're heading toward the queue for um, Money and Falcon.
6.03, it'll focus. But they open boarding groups. I don't know when exactly they open them, but I'm assuming it was recently. We haven't checked probably in like a half an hour or so. But we're moving quickly through line. You're dismissed. Right, so is this way. And here you go. <laughs> yeah, this is an oxidizer foam, and these barrels that say oxidizer foam is actually. Oh, 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 that you must be mistaken, my friend. Shipping contraband disguised as innocent. Who might be waiting for? Yes. Come in, come in. I have an opportunity for you all that is bad, <laughs> dangerous. I was going to say profitable. You think I'm so heartless? I would set my friends to danger. <laughs> You insult my honor, and believe me, I have very little honor to insult. <laughs> Hi there, one of the engines blew up here. Will you talk later? I have to do everything around here. <laughs> this is... Hello, hello, my friends. I am Kondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Oh, the Millennium Falcon. On low for some very fast and very profitable expeditions. You back in my fine for a friend. Yes, yes, as we agree, you let us use the ship. We'll get you the supplies you need. It's a win-win. You help the resistance, and I get all the profits. What? The first order will never know we were there. Okay, time to go, so bye-bye. Uh, we better go before he changes his mind. Move along, my friends. Listen carefully and remember, the better you work together, the more you earn your lives. And my profit in it, though. Now go, go, go. <laughs> so now we're in this like waiting area. We got our assignments. Pilot. So that's exciting. It'll focus. So we're both pilots? So did you want to go left and right or do you want to go up and down? Oh, I don't know. But that's exciting that we're pilots. And then you wait for them to call your color, I guess. And then you go. We're at, what's this restaurant called? Docking Bay 7 Docking Bay 7 Cargo. And we got the morning... Morning Sun's, Bright Sun's breakfast. Bright Sun's breakfast, so oh my gosh. But it has like too eggs much stuff here. and like sausage and like a pastry, all sorts of stuff. Um, but we thought this was where that like hot dog wrap thing is, I forget what it's called, but they didn't have that here. So we're gonna split this and then we're gonna go get that as well. But we went on the ride. What'd you think? It was really fun. It was so good. We were both pilots, so that was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, today's going better than anticipated. So. Went to, I forget what it's called. Ronto Roasters. Ronto Roasters. We got the Ronto breakfast, morning wrap. So it had like eggs and a sausage and a dressing. It looks pretty good. Decided to try this. And then we're like over by Ronto Roasters and there's like a bunch of shops and stuff. This isn't focusing because there's a million people, but I'm exhausted. Okay guys, so we are now leaving Hollywood Studios. It's only 8.30 in the morning. Ah! Um, but, uh, yeah. So we had the... Well, we had the morning we had, and then when we got off the Money and Falcon, we ate. Um, we both liked the um, Rondo wrap better from Rondo Roasters. Um, definitely something we'd both get again. Um, and if like you're curious, um, from what we tried, I would honestly compare the food and it's like Galaxy's Edge more to like Pandora food. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like Disney World food. It's not like burgers and fries. It's like more unique offerings than that. Obviously we didn't have like any of the lunch or dinner options, but just based off of like the breakfast options, that's our thoughts. Um, but again, all things considered, things went very, very, very well in our opinion. Um, 
I really do think they made some changes since like Toy Story Land opening. Like they took a lot into consideration. Like they knew it would be a lot busier and they knew that there were some things that were not good for Toy Story Land. Like people were waiting like four or five hours just to get into the land in like a long line and then they'd be waiting for Slinky for two hours and then like, and it was a small land, especially compared to Galaxy's Edge. No Galaxy's Edge is huge. Yeah, there's no shade anywhere in Toy Story Land. But um, today, you know, they had the boarding groups once they hit capacity. They had umbrellas everywhere. They had water out everywhere. They had fans going. Every they had fans feet. going. Like they, they really, really, like from our experience, like they stepped it up a lot. Like still would not have been a happy camper if we were standing out there right now in the sun, like because it's already hot out. Um, it was definitely humid and even though it was like the middle of the night basically when we were waiting in line, but luckily the sun wasn't out yet because we knew we're like, as soon as that sun comes out, it's gonna be miserable. Um, but yeah, I really do think they were doing all that they could do to accommodate to everybody and to make things as easy as possible. Um, so yeah, um, that's our thoughts. And we're going back tomorrow to Ogus Cantina because we have a reservation for that. So ha luckily we didn't have to like wait for that or anything. The only thing is like there was like for certain things there wasn't like a line anymore, but then like other things there were like huge lines. Like obviously smugglers around the ride have lines, but then there was like a huge line for what's it called? Den of Antiquities? Yeah. It's like a store. Like there was a huge line for it. So I don't know, that was like kind of bizarre to me. Like, but. The one food place, there was no line at all. Yeah, but then like the food place we went to, there was literally not even a line. Like there was like two or three guests ahead of us. And then it was like, so that's like not even a line, especially like at any Disney like walk up, you're normally waiting like, if you're at like a meal time, you're waiting a good 30 minutes in line. Um, so yeah, that's our thoughts. And now I'm gonna go home and take a nap because I like prepared my week around this day. I'm like, I'm doing all my schoolwork, getting all my stuff done, so then Thursday I can go to Galaxy Edge and come home and sleep. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. I know we didn't like vlog too, too much of it. Like I tried to get some good clips here and there, um, but I mean, like if you wanna see a ride through, I'm not gonna be the best at that. Like you can go look at somebody else's video oh but also like in terms of like the ride um i mean i wasn't disappointed because i knew what to expect but i'm also like flight of passage was like wow amazing you know what i mean this is very like interactive star tours so i mean it was still cool but it like Grant and I both agreed, and like Grant's like a huge Star Wars fan, so this is like his thing. Like we both agree, like this isn't something that we need to go and wait for again, like immediately. Yeah. Like we're fine with not riding it for a while. A while you but know, it was still it was really really fun, and like my childhood dreams were made riding this. <laughs> it's yeah. not something I need to do again. Yeah, it just wasn't like. I don't want to say it was lackluster, I but it kind of it was just like leading up to the ride was better than the yeah, ride itself. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Like the like animatronic of Pondo was the good. Falcon, like, see Pondo. The theming was obviously yeah. great. Yeah. The whole queue was amazing. Oh, another thing that didn't make sense. So like once you got your um, assignment, then they sent you into this room, which I got footage of, and then you just have to stand there and wait. And then there was like cast member, like they either like shout a color, or because each like um, group is a different color or they'd like be searching around for people and like that was kind of dumb I think. I'm like, sure that'll change. That was just, I don't know. Like there's probably like, there's probably like 20, no probably like 20 to 30 people in a room at a time. Like all from different groups, from board, different boarding groups. And then they'd just be like the orange group, the orange group. And then there's like five cast members like walking around looking for people with orange covers. Like, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know how else they would have done it. Well, just keep everybody in a line and like keep well, I going. Think like I, I thought it was like I thought I was gonna get my assignment and then go right in. Yeah. I didn't think I'd have to wait another twenty minutes. I think the whole point is because they have it set up that you're like in the main area of the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. For the photo, like photo opportunities. So it's something that while you're waiting, you, you can take some photos do. and yeah. stuff. So it's like a good time killer. It's still it's set up a little weird. I'm yeah. sure they'll change it to make it a little better. Yeah, so that's our thoughts. Um, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time.